Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Isle of Man in the UK. This is John and Mike's MMA Corner. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined right now by Francis Carmont. Sir, you're taking on Linda Vassell at Bellator 165. Uh, you came across to the UK. You got yourself a W. And... Since then, you know, you've got obviously back to training. How was your time over in the UK, can I ask? Um, yeah. Um, uh, in the battle, I was, uh, I was uh, scheduled to fight Nicole Vassell in England, but you have an uh, uh, injury uh, yep. to high. Um, this time, uh, you, I, take, I, I take him in San Jose. I'm so happy to be here. This guy is a top guy on... Uh, I'm ready to, to give the people a, a, a good show. Um, uh, I'm sure it will be a good fight. I think it will be a very good fight, sir. Linton Fissell as well. He's he's one of them ones. He's came over from the UK. He's based in the US, so he's he's getting the training with Black Zillions. Now, with TriStar, I'm sure you're having a great time with guys there as well. Uh, do you feel with Phil Davis winning against Lee McGeary, do you have a bit more of an incentive, more of a desire to get that title shot to avenge your loss with Phil Davis now? Because knowing that he has a belt as well. Yeah, sure. My goal is to fight Phil Davis another time. But uh, for the moment, I'm going to focus on Little Basel. Uh, this guy is not a joke. Um, I know I have big, uh, I have big work in my hand. Um, uh, I'd like to pass yeah, Linton is no joke. Yeah, that, the, the thing I like about Bellator is that they've invested into like heavyweight division over the past, uh, I'd say probably a two years, two and a half years. They've invested in that. It, the, the, it's a nice talent-rich pool, especially for Linton Vassell. He uh, avenged a loss against Emmanuel Newton, and Emmanuel Newton again in his own right is a great guy to beat. For you then, do you see Linton Vassell as a great platform uh, to showcase your skill set, really? Because I know that you've got, well, I know you've got submission, but you've got great grappling. Are you looking to maybe use that in this fight uh, and to showcase what you're all about? Yeah, it's true. I want to be, uh, I want to get my best for this fight. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to, to show the people my skill is better, like, like in the past, um, um, I want to, sh to, to, to share the people I come back I'm at my best. On uh, Ethan Battelle, it's a good guy for sure that because he's a tough guy, he's a tall guy, he's a top, top, top three, top five in the world. Mm. Um, it's a big opportunity to me to, to prove as as a people what I'm up there, what I'm, I'm, what I can do now. So you're fighting at 205 now in Bellator. Do you think? 205 pounds is a better fit for you because I won't I won't lie Francis you're a big boy you know you're not a small guy I my you 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 came over to the UK years a few years back and a, a couple of my friends went to a, an event to watch a fight and they got a picture with you you're not a small 185 and that must have been a tough cut down to 185 did you do you feel you're getting more out of yourself at 205 now you know, 205 is different because when I was 185, I was a big 185, you know. Yeah. I make like all oh, the fighters uh, uh, lose some weight, uh, the last week, um, make sauna, lose 10 weight in the sauna, or 8 weight in the, eight, uh, uh, in the sauna, do 8 pounds in the sauna, but this time is different. I, must, I, I only need to focus in the fight. Don't need to make sauna, don't need to make nothing. Uh, all the day, my, 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 my weight is 2, 215, um, I don't need to, 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 to lose a lot of weight, mm. um, uh, I have more prepared for, 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 for the fight, I'm focusing on the fight. In the past, I was focusing the, in the weight, um, yeah. maybe uh, seven years before, you have to lose a lot of weight, um, you might you lose your mind, you know, you, you have only one thing in the, in the head, it's, uh, it's too heat. Yeah. And that was so difficult. Now, it's a fight of the fight. Um, uh, better for me. 
I was going to say cuz I I thought it before I went from a, I went from 210 pounds to 170 and I was exactly the same as you looking at the weighing scales. I wasn't thinking about the fight. I was more focused on the day before about how much I will weigh and yeah. everything. And it does take away a lot of your focus away from the fight game and that's why I think with 205 you probably feel a better fit. And I also noticed a lot more fighters these days are starting to to accept fighting at a weight class it's a bit more comfortable for them because they're noticing their performance is a lot better as well you, you know i imagine that you enjoy training a lot more because it's not as hard because you're not calorie deficient you're not eating that little bit less so you're able to push yourself a bit more yeah yeah you have uh, i'm i'm argue with you you the problem of so many fighters, they, are, they believe uh, fighting is, uh, is a, a small white class, is better. That is not better. You know what? Because when you go, exactly, when you go to, to 170 or 185, they are what's very fast. Maybe you could be the, the more fast guys, one, one medium up, you know? Yeah. Uh, now, I know I fight two or five, uh, a more speed guy, like, like a two or five guy. Mm. Uh, if I go to 185, maybe I don't do the more fast guy because the guy is so speed, they have more skill, more athletic, you know. And uh, you must to, to focus on the fight. That is the way. This is my my my, my now. I look, and it's it's great that you've got that kind of decision and the mindset. Do I also have to give you a bit of? Congratulations! And did you are you one of the reasons why Rory start signed up with Bellator? Did you have a word of Rory McDonald and give him a hint to come over to Bellator? Or, or did you have a little ne- part in the negotiations by any chance? Mm, I I see Rory at the gym. Um, I'm I'm happy he comes to to, to Bellator family. Um, I speak him a little bit, but uh, but I know he's happy to be here. Um, it's good for for. For so many people, you know, you know what? Because the, the fighter, um, the people see, uh, they have, uh, they have Bellator. They don't have only the UFC in the game. They have Bellator. They take care about the family, about the fighter. Um, they give good money, good show. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's good for, 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 for the business, you know? Yeah. And, uh, for that, I'm, I'm happy for Rory. I'm happy for Bellator. Um, I'm happy for the fans. I was going to say, because with the self like yourself uh, and and, com- and big name fighters signing up to Bellator, it's a, it's very encouraging as well because I think that the you know the big name fighters on there, it's exciting for you because obviously Roy's you know teammate the weight class, but for you Linton Vassell, Emmanuel Newton, Liam McGeary, for things, you must be excited because you get to test yourself against top level light heavyweights because the last thing you want yeah. is to sign up with a promotion where there isn't enough talent there to really help push you so you probably feel that you're actually getting the better of yourself with this you know depth in light heavyweight division yeah 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 sure sure the, the, the dream of all the fighters is to fight the best guy in the world um this is what happened for, for uh, for the moment, they have a, a, a very good guy, a very tough guy in the 205 division. Like you say, you have uh, Kim Mo, Lincoln Bassel, uh, you know, Quinton Jackson, uh, Ortiz. Uh, you have so many fighters. Uh, they have so many problems for me. Uh, on, uh, on, uh, on it's good because you want to be better for, for, for battle these guys. Um, uh, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. Um, uh, um, this is for, for what I'm happy to come back at my best now and uh, let's go for the show now I, I'm excited for the fight anyway obviously like we said it got cancelled in the UK I was I was looking forward uh, to, to fight watching Linton fight obviously because he's from the UK and I'm kind of in the UK I, it's all a bit questionable but I'm part, kind of a part of the UK anyway but it's uh, it, uh, you know I think he's talented fight match up with you I like the match up anyway because of the, the, the different styles that you both offer yeah. is what makes the fight so interesting it's who can implement their style in the fight to get the win because that's all that it's about it's a, the two different styles and it's all about who can implement theirs and that this is what intrigues me if you get 
guys like this because you've got Faraz Zahabi he's a, he's, a, he's a master in, in technical breakdown analysis of fights you get that kind of knowledge and information pushed, pushed onto you it, it's, it must be a great weapon in itself Now, the, uh, the guys are very good coach. Um, yeah. Because the team have a good, a good coach, you know, and uh, it's a good school for for mixed martial artists. And and they they, they give good fighter, good fighter. I like Boris Maidanar, Don Saint Pierre, Sardin Taleb, Alexis Garcia. So so many good fighter. Um, so good for 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 the fighter. They they're okay names. Yeah, they they they'll do. They'll do. <laughs> uh, look, 19th of November, ladies and gentlemen, this fight is happening. So it is not far away. It is very soon. So it's time to get excited. It's time to look forward to it. Uh, the both of you are fit. The both of you are healthy. The both of you are ready to get in there. Uh, Francis, uh, firstly, I, I want to say thank you very much for your time. Obviously, I I'm not going to keep you here all day. I, I would like you to get back to training, get yourself ready for the fight but before I let you go Francis can you, can you please let people at home know uh, what your social media is to, to let people know they want to follow you give you you know on social media and stuff like that yeah it's uh, my website carmofrancis uh, at uh, .com. Uh, all this in my name carmofrancis and they can uh, they can show me uh, Facebook on, on uh, so, uh, social media I'm here for any question or whatever. Oh, wonderful. So jump on there, people. I'll put this in the description below as well for you all to click on to links. Uh, what about sponsors? Because yeah. they, they, they're a big part of the game. You know, sponsors, they help you out a lot. So can you, do you want to give a shout out to any of them people that have helped you out? Yeah, my, I want to, to say thanks. Thanks, big thanks to, to my sponsor, uh, Like Hotel on, uh, from Montreal. Affection, Affection, uh, uh, give me a, a, a good exposure, uh, Benham, thanks to Benham for, for all, and uh, to Arsignan, to, thanks to all my sponsors, you know, uh, you know, many thanks, many thanks. Uh, and obviously, you've got your coaches, uh, do you want to give a shout out to any people that have helped you out in particular in this fight camp, anyone that's been, you know, spending a bit more time with you, do you want to give a shout out to them, a big thanks? No, like usual, Pierre uh, Jabi, Eric O'Keefe, Crew Hatch, my Muay Thai coach, many thanks on, uh, on uh, my commissioning, uh, Christophe, uh, many thanks to, to all my partners. Um, um, let's, let's, let's go for the fight now. Oh, well, Francis, come on. Merci beaucoup, sir. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic... <laughs> Again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great weekend with Bellator and have a great uh, event and put a great fight for the fans, you know, because that's what it's all about. People want to see a great fight and this is a fantastic matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the fight will be exciting on, on the, the next week, 19, will be a big event.